It was the experience with and of unconditional love. The kind of love that created a safe space, a safe container for me to be me without judgment and condemnation that eventually freed me of all fear toward God and fear of God. When I experienced this love, and this was not a love conceptualized through the mind, this was a true experiencing of God's love and after this experience I truly lost all fear I did not fear God I did not fear hell I feared no one and nothing what I do fear from time to time is my own mind. And that relates to the scripture verse in the Bible where Jesus is recorded as saying, Do not fear those who kill the body, but afterwards can do no more. But fear him who is able to destroy your soul in hell. Christians usually attribute this mm, either to God or Satan. But probably God. I know I, I attributed it to God in my Christian days, but today I no longer see it as that. You should never have to fear God. You should never have to fear love. But the one that can destroy your soul in hell is your own ego mind. And sometimes my own ego mind will drive me to the brink of psychosis and insanity. That to me is the one that you should fear. Your own mind when it goes out of control and is not under the reign of your higher Christ mind and uh, yeah besides my own mind I don't fear anyone and uh, God is someone that you should never be afraid of you cannot love someone that you are afraid of you cannot trust someone that you are afraid of. And uh, the whole premise of God casting souls into some eternal hell is I, erroneous, so erroneous. I, I can't believe that there's people out there who still push that. It, it tried to push that into the psyche of people. It ought to be let go of. But I know it's the type of people who have never experienced unconditional love. Even Jesus said um, that he who has been forgiven little loves little. 
And only he who has been forgiven much loves much, loves greatly. So it all depends on a person's uh, level of experience of love. Whether they are going to be leaning towards the harsh, judgmental side or the loving and forgiving side of God. And uh, all of this is driven by mind, by conditioned mind and trauma. And uh, yeah, I wish that every person would at one time, at least one time in their life, experience truly unconditional, non judgmental, uncondemning kind of love that creates the safe container for one's soul and heart and mind to unfold uh, absent from the uh, looming presence of criticism is the most beautiful thing and it's the thing that can set us free <laughs>